Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and I wanted to talk about something. Um, so, let's, this is hard to talk about, okay? Just, just to say here. It's kind of hard to talk about because the fact is, whatever I say, there's no right answer. There's not a right answer for anything I'm about to say here. So, you know, I made this video yesterday. I made a video about chili. Um, you know, people wanted me to make a video about chili, so I did. Even even though I said I don't really want to do much chili content, but I, I, I also like to please uh, my community. And sometimes, you know, I just saw that one moment where chili said something or done something incredibly stupid, as always, and I let him have it. And during the actual video, I said something that uh, some people took offense to. And I, uh, I created a hashtag called BDQ. Big Dumb Queer. Now, one of the things I did say that was not an attack on the LGBTQ community. I said, that's not what it is. That's not me hating on anybody just because they are gay. Because we don't know if Chili's gay or not. I don't care if he is or not. He can love dick. That's fine. Um, that's that's his prerogative. He can enjoy penis all he wants. I, I don't care. Uh, that's just the way it is. No, I, I can't prove it, though. But I you know I think it's funny. And I don't like to censor myself. Uh, I, I don't like that. I, I never really have. And sometimes, you know, during the run of this channel... I've had to go back and apologize for things that I've said. Um, let's just go ahead and say it. I'm not perfect. I'm not. Um, you know, I didn't see a lot of people make any uh, comments saying, hey, you shouldn't have said that. Now, some people say that's hate speech. And again, that's not hate speech. I I'm not hating anybody. I'm not sending hate to a specific group of people. Now, I'd understand if I said I hate BDQ. I dislike them. See, somebody could take that clip right there, what I just said, and just post it. And they're like, oh, this uh, big fat guy says he doesn't like queer people. It is what it is. Yeah, I, I see. I, how I, when, when I hear the term queer, I think of male, female, transgender I, I don't see hate behind that word because now how it's used, it's not really a bad word. I know back in the day when I was a kid, they had things called smear the queer. I don't know if you remember this. And I am saying queer a lot. I'm sorry. They had smear the queer. Now, back in the 90s, uh, early 2000s, uh, being a juvenile kid, um, you know, we didn't understand the LGBTQ community, so we said things like the F word and uh, that and whatever. As you say, hey, because we thought we didn't know. We thought that was disgusting. And when you grow up, you're like, oh, OK, it's not really disgusting. It is what it is. Uh, it's just preference. It is what it is. You're you either like men, women, both. It, it doesn't matter. I, I don't care. And yeah, I like to consider myself pretty progressive. And I know that's going to turn some people off. I, and another thing will really turn people off is who I voted for. And uh, some people will be turned off by that because of some of my political beliefs. But for the most, most, mostly, mostly, I'm on the side of right in the middle, like right in the middle. Uh, I like things on the left, and I like things on the right. Do I like things on the far left? No. Do I like things on the far right? No. Do I think there's a problem? Yes. There's a problem on both sides. That's why I like to stay in the middle. You can call it fence sitting, but it is what it is. I, I think, you know, I want people of every race, sex, uh, sexual orientation, uh, whatever, to have equal rights. I, I, I want that. Um I, I just have problems with the whole wokeization. That's hard to say. Wokeization. Wokeization? Wokeization of everything. And I know some people will be like, oh, you can't say woke. That's that's stupid. There's no such thing as woke. 
These are the same people who says there's no such thing as cancel culture, which obviously exists. Um, I mean, you can't say, like, comedy. H how many times have you tried to watch any type of comic, comic and they come out and they're, like, scared to say something? Uh, Dave, Ch Dave Chappelle, good example. Uh, you know, he doesn't really give a shit. I mean, he knows he offends people. That's what comedy is. You're, like, m most of the time, it's... You're going to offend somebody. And that's how I like to approach my content. Uh, yeah, I might offend somebody. Motion I don't go out. The front door. Fuck you, Alexa. <laughs> I don't go out of my way to offend somebody. Um, I don't go out of my way to cause problems. Um... You know, I, I, I like to think I'm pretty, as far as I am, like, if you would have talked to me maybe a year ago, I wouldn't have talked about this stuff. I just wouldn't. I would be been afraid to. Been afraid to say anything. And, you know, I, I kind of feel like I got a little bit of confidence these days where I'm not afraid to be myself. And, of course, me being myself... You do have people, mainly uh, these woke idiots, that uh, you know they have to protest every single thing. Like Chili, he's a big woke bitch, um, and I know, understand. Like, is it, is it okay to be woke? That's fine, but I don't want to be pushed into it. Like movies, video games, music, books. Even porn. I, I don't know about porn. I think porn's pretty neutral. I guess. I don't know. Porn's porn. But everything that comes out. I mean, they did it with Star Wars. They just did it to Lord of the Rings. Ghostbusters. <laughs> and I know I'm going to be called some kind of incel because, oh, well, you just don't like women. No, it's not. That's not true either. Yeah, you know, I had a problem. It, I, it was funny. So when Avengers Endgame came out, I went and seen it, and I seen it twice. And there's a specific part in the movie where all of a sudden on the battlefield, all the women in the Marvel universe is for some odd reason just there in one spot. They just happen to be there. And it didn't make sense to me. It didn't, it didn't. It, why would they all be on that same spot just happening to get this pose right away? And I know super. I know superhero movies do that stuff all the time. There's always that money shot, and that happened to be a money shot. And it wasn't organic. I didn't feel organic. It seemed like pandering to me. It was like, oh boy, they just did that to get a check mark. They get their check mark there. There you go. Uh, please include women in this movie. And there's so many like, strong, awesome female characters in the Marvel Universe. But the way they did it was really cheesy. It was really cheesy. And I got some flack for that from some people. It's like, oh, that's, that's, I, I don't like the way you're thinking. That's, that's awful. Uh, why don't, why, sh why shouldn't women get treatment? I, I think women should get great treatment. Uh, you know, a lot of heroes in my media, uh, like video games, movies, let's talk about Ripley, Let's talk about Jill Valentine. Uh, let's talk about Alita Battle Angel. Uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah, they have sex appeal. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I like to think that women are beautiful. Um, it's just the way it is. I think women are beautiful. Um, I think women do get a bad rap. Um, not, not as bad as they say. But they try to push this specific message out on the movie, and they continue to do this. Like, uh, let's take a look. Star Wars that came out, and I uh, say what you want. I kind of liked the uh, Disney Star Wars movies. Um, some people hated the Last Jedi. I actually liked it. I actually had no problem with it, except for the Mary Poppins scene. Uh, some stuff didn't make sense. Uh, but I had no problem with it. Uh, when I went and seen it the first night, that was one of the first nights it came out. When General Haldo did the crazy 
light speed thing and blown up all the ships. I was like, holy shit. The theater was quiet, quiet and you just hear everybody start laughing. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate about that. They're like, you shouldn't like the Disney Star Wars movie. I'm fine with it. I, could they have done better? Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Uh, Force Awakens was just a retelling of A New Hope. Uh, I, I guess if you want to say Last Jedi, it did subvert a lot of things. But um, it kind of fucked up the last movie. You know, there's a lot of shit that got fucked up in that last movie that, you know, they could have just made Star Wars Episode Ten, And then it's like, well, this could be a quadro. Let's do that. But they made uh, Daisy Ridley. Uh, she plays Rey. Um, automatically, automatically with no training at all. You got to remember Luke, whenever he started on, on A New Hope, he didn't know the Force. He didn't know any of that shit. Uh, you know, his uh, family, which is dad, Darth Vader, was super force strong. He was like the chosen one. Uh, but he was on the balance of evil. But Luke came in. He had to spend two movies getting his ass handed to him. He had to go to Dagobah to learn from Yoda. And he still wasn't ready. And he goes to Darth Vader. Gets his hand fucking took off. Then on the last movie. You see Luke Skywalker becoming this badass Jedi. But Rey didn't have to do any of that shit. Automatically in The Force Awakens, she was good at everything. She knew how to control people. She was awesome with a lightsaber. She knew the Force. Uh, and it kind of continued from there. Like, the second movie. In the third movie. Like, it just... Anything that needed to happen for that movie, Rey already knew it. There was no character development for Rey. And I think that's the weakness that's one of the weaknesses, and I think that is a detriment towards women. Let's like, think about it. Like, the, the way they're saying, like, they make a lot of shows is like, well, the woman is strong because she's a woman. Um, they don't give a woman, they don't build the character. They just say, oh, she's, she's a woman, so automatically she's good at everything. And she's strong and powerful. Just, you, gotta, you just got to believe this. She's a woman, and you're a dumb male. Get over it. But they don't want to build characters. Um, they don't. Like, even some of the shitty movies that's come out throughout the years. Uh, well, Resident Evil, um, Mila Jovovich. Those are decent movies for the most part. Yeah, I mean, that was a kind of predecessor to, is it the Mary Sue? Mary Jane? Or, I don't know. I don't know. But those are fun. At least she gets she gets her ass kicked in a lot of it. But you know, it's it's fun. And you know, I like to see I like to see a female character be built up. I want to be able to root for the female character who got their ass kicked at the beginning. Like a good example, the new Tomb, Tomb Raider games. Um, it's shown a vulnerable uh, Laura Croft. She didn't know if, what the fuck she was doing. And at the end of the first game, she becomes a badass because she's learning all this stuff. I like to see a woman get played up. I like to see, just like my male characters, I like to see my female characters get raised up, have a story arc. Um, you know, I want to see them fuck up just as much as their male counterpart. But in the woke crowd, put woman, she is over everything. If she's a person of color she's over everything if she is a part of the lgbtq community and she has she's a woman and she's a poc she is jesus doesn't matter fuck you white male i think that's why a lot of people got really pissed off about um i think it was captain marvel uh that came out and people's like oh okay she's she just doesn't care, and she's better and stronger and more powerful than everyone. They made a movie. They didn't really build her character. She was dull, um, and automatically, right through the gate, the actress and Marvel Studios started sending hate towards the fans of these comics, and they're like, wait a minute. You guys are incels. You guys are just white males. This isn't for you. 
I hate to say it, but comic book and Marvel movies, video games, is made up mostly of men. So your audience is men, mostly. I would like to see more. I it, Honestly, honestly, I would like to see more female representation. But I want it to be organic. I don't want you to hire somebody just because they are female or POC or LGBTQ. I don't want you to have to base that movie just on that to get the point across. Just to get your check mark. That's stupid. Somebody told me, it's like, oh, you shouldn't say woke. You shouldn't say woke. Woke is a bad word. It's not. It's not. It really isn't because it's all true. It's all true. You can go on the internet, TikTok, TikTok and Twitter, TikTok, TikTok and Twitter, cancel culture it is like the supreme left uh, side of the internet, just completely out there and open for everyone. Everybody's pissed off about Elon Musk because he's like, hey, we're going to have freedom of speech for everyone, not just people on the left, not just for the woke. I, I think it's stupid. I think and I, I, I know there's going to be people who's going to argue with me and be like, well, you're just a white male. You're just a white male. Uh, what do you know? You're, you're white, straight and a male. And if I was Christian, that would be another strike against me because you're not allowed to be a white straight male on the internet. And fuck you if you're Christian and you're a white male. That's absolute poison. I hope I don't lose a lot of, people, a lot of you guys. I hope I don't. I finally decided to talk about this because it's really been bugging me lately. I think, the, I think one of the big things was uh, Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power show that came out. And they fucked up the whole thing. Um, you know, they had to be like the whole, like during the making of the show, during the interviews, their big focus was on diversity. Um, they didn't really talk about, well, this character's awesome because this and this and this. Now there are, since, you know, since, you know, they're women or POCs. They're the best. They don't give like they made Gladrill like his ultimate warrior, which you know Gladrill's badass. Uh, don't get me wrong, Gladrill's badass, but not the way they made it. They made her look stupid. They made her seem like a boss bitch. I guess that's what they call it. Now, like I said, I might move some people. Some people might look at this video and be like, "Ooh, I didn't think I, I didn't know I uh, supported a guy like you." Um. And I apologize. I, I don't. I, I can't apologize. Um, I can't. I just can't apologize for that. I can't apologize that. You know, I have these feelings for you. And I know it may be toxic to some people. Uh, you know, a lot of people I know is on the side of the left, the far left. Um, and they have problems with how I am. I've never been against the LGBTQ community. I would stand up on a stage with their flag in the air if I could. I don't care about that. You know, people of color, I want them to have equal rights too. But I think if we're going to have rights, we all need rights, not just individual groups. People need to stop being so sensitive. They get offended by every single thing that happens. Everything. Everything they get offended by. And it's sad. It's sad. It's, it's really sad. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of things. There's, there's a lot of ways this could have happened. I don't know when it started. Some people will say maybe during the Obama years. Maybe. I don't know, Here, maybe four years ago, you know, I was a hardcore uh, liberal, like hardcore liberal, like hardcore cancel culture was awesome. Uh, fuck Elon Musk. Go Obama. You know, I, I remember going to see Obama. Uh, I, you know, in retrospect, I take a look back at how I was then and how I am now. I was like, man, I was really stupid. I was really stupid to not be able to look at both sides and be like, hey, there's balance here. 
but nobody wants to talk about the balance. And whenever you go outside the lines, most people stay on biased media such as CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, stuff like that. They stay to that. They don't know the whole story until they go out and experience it themselves. Or they look at secondary or uh, other people that's not backed by huge corporations. They're saying, hey, this is what it is. This is how I feel. This is the actual news. Because the news you are getting from the radio, the TV, is most likely manufactured. Say what you want about Trump. But when he said fake news and everybody laughed at him, he was right. He was right. It's, you could see it every day. He was right. I know people will be like, you're a Trump supporter. You know, I voted for Trump. Do I like everything but Trump stand for? No. But he got a lot of hate. People were saying that he was... Uh, against the LGBTQ community. Out of all the candidates that I seen during the 2016 election, Donald Trump was the only one to stand on a stage with the LGBTQ flag. You had people like Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, years prior to this, maybe a decade or more, against gay marriage. That was against it. That was against it. But... The motto is, vote blue no matter who. And that's what is taught in a lot of schools, a lot of colleges. Um, there's no more free thinking. If you try to have a free, a free thought, you're automatically shit-canned. You're canceled. And tomorrow, or whenever I post this video, if I decide to post this video, um... You know, I, I could look and YouTube will cancel this channel. I was all my subscribers and I would be back at the beginning. Then I try to start a channel. People will go back. Wait, well, look at this woke fat incel. You know, I got a lot of things going for me. I have a good job. I have a wife. I have a home. You know, I have everything I've got I want. I have a studio. But people really need to relax. They really need to. They need to look at both sides of the story. They have to. But they're not. Just because Kim Kardashian said, hey, fuck Trump. All these people are like, fuck Trump, because Kim Kardashian said, fuck Trump. They don't have, they, there's no free thinking anymore. And we are taught now in this society that free thinking is dangerous. It is dangerous thinking. It's going down the wrong path, which I have been told that my thinking has been going down the wrong path. When I chose to talk to police, whenever I said, hey, I don't look like woke, fake diversity, I'm going down the wrong path. I like to think I'm going in the right path. Because what I believe in, I believe in equality for everybody, not just for one group of people. That's what I believe. I, I don't care what anybody else says. We can argue all day. You can come up to me and tell me that this, this, and this. And I'll be like, sorry, I like to see both sides of the story. I'm not going to be confined to one side. I'm not going to let some corporation or tech blog or some celebrity tell me how I need to think. That's why Hollywood is sinking. Take a look at the Golden Globes. Lowest ratings in years. Nobody's wanting to listen to these people talk about their politics because it's all one-sided. But anyways, before I ramble too longer, too much longer, guys, thank you so much for watching. If we can open up a dialogue, I'd love to, I'd love to do this. I'd love to talk love to talk about it. I hope I didn't offend you. And if I did, that wasn't my intention. I love you guys very much. I, I really do. But I had to get that out of the air. So whenever I do post this, um, hopefully you guys take this uh, seriously. Hopefully you don't see me as a bad guy. 
Um, but I'm going to do my best not to censor myself. But I'm not going to go out of my way to offend you. If that's what you want. I'm not going to make that my goal. Never will. It's not going to be the thing. It's not what this channel, that's not what I'm about. I'm not about coming out to offend you. But if the words I say does offend you, I guess I'll have to live with that. It's just the way it is. If you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you soon.